Welcome back to the podcast. I am Mr. Made Over. And I'm tired. I'm Mrs. Made Over. And uh, today, um, my wife is a little goofy today, um, as you can see. Uh, did you did you get some? Did you take a nap today, or you just so you no. just up? So you just no, been no. up. So you you are full. And I'm a little full. Full of giggles yeah. right about now. Because I'm tired. What? But why are you tired now? Why am I tired? Yeah, I mean. Because I was shouting. It's supposed to be the weekend. You're supposed yeah. to be able to relax. You're supposed to be able to uh, just chill. You know what I'm saying? That was good. I know. That was good. That's good. good. That's good <laughs> harmony stuff right there, girl. Put you on the praise team. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead sitting in the seat singing. That's what's up. What? Um, you do a lot of your singing on here though. But like I, I said, you, this the weekend is supposed to be you relaxing. You did a uh, a commercial, a live commercial. I did for Emerald's Touch. Oh. Y'all, if you are looking for those fall off the bone ribs, guess what? They are close to selling out. But I got a good news for you. There's some good old grandma's chicken and there's plenty of it to go around. So get up here as fast as you can if you're looking for ribs. We still got everything on the menu, guys. We still got that good old brisket. There's some Brunswick stew. There's that bacon wrapped chicken bite. We got mac and cheese, we got baked beans, we got coleslaw, we got potato salad. Whatever you need, we got it. Hey, and guess what? I got my strawberry cake. You better come on and get yours because it will sell out. 5150 Hamilton Road. Ask for sunshine because I am not going to be around for long. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I did. I'm like, I did? Like, do you not know what you did this weekend? Dude, did like, it fly by that quick? No. Jeez. No, it's just been. I th- I'm. I mean, I feel like it's been busy though. I mean, it has. I think this week was um was a pretty busy week. Yeah, I think. I mean, you know, because yeah, yeah. What's yeah. up? But <laughs> let's get into today's topic. I don't understand. It. Um, she did not understand it clearly. I I stated that life lived forward, but understood backwards. But the crazy part, it makes sense. Every day we live life forward. But we don't get it or understand it until we look back over our life oh, and figure out why so things. Come on now. I'm just like, that, that was the coldest riddle ever. Yo, listen. But, hey, this is like podcast. This is not me in the classroom. I am not trying to understand nothing complicated. Well, this is class. Life is full of classes. No. Welcome to 101 class. <laughs> now, life lived forward, right. but understood backwards. If you pay attention, that you never know how valuable somebody is you until they that. die. You want me to take the headphones yes, off? Oh my goodness! But I hear the clarity of the vocal. That's oh. called podcast stuff. If you look yeah, at most podcast people; they have their headphones okay, on so they can. But at the end of the day, you never truly get the gist or understand how much a person did. In their life until, until they back. pass, and then you have to look back on what they did. And you were like, "Man, this person did this. This person did this. This person did like that. This person did that." So that's why I said, "Life lived forward, but understood backwards." Because we don't really understand our life or why we're going through what we're going through in the moment of moving forward. But then once we make it to that place, 
and we look back or look hindsight, mm -hmm. then now we understand why why we had to go through what we had to go through to get to where we are. Which makes sense of why they always say what they say hindsight is a. Uh, don't get me to It says something like the hindsight is the best sight or something like that. everything is understood in hindsight for the most part. Anyway. I don't know. Probably jack that up. <laughs> but at did. the end of the day, <laughs> I feel like this. This is how I feel. This is how I feel. We live life, number one, unpredictable. Right. And each moment, we really don't take advantage of, like, each day. Think about each day that we wake up, we take advantage of just waking, having breath in our body, right. activities of our limbs. Um, we don't capitalize on the gifts and the talents that we have. We don't. So I think those who actually capitalize on these gifts, like, once they're gone. What a gift, you know, like like once they're gone, it's kind of like what now? Now you look back over there. That's why I say it's understood backwards. Life is understood backwards. Right. But I think if we begin to understand life forward, then we I, I I believe we can get further in this life. So do you mean if we start to understand why the potential of why? Ooh. That was the cabbage you made. Don't look at me. The <laughs> potential of why we're going through things first instead of having to look back on it. Is that yeah. what you mean? Or not taking for granted what we are having to go through as we move through life. And I also think that not only taking for granted, uh -huh. but finding understanding. In the midst of it. Yeah. So understanding, okay, so trying to understand why the sky is blue. I mean, that right there, I think, if that's not in your lane, why would you try to even understand that one? But I okay. get what you're right. saying. You get what I'm saying? But I get what you're saying. But. Okay, so understanding. Why? Okay, well, let's take it this way. Understanding why I'm on this podcast. But let's go with purpose. For, it's a purpose. Right, but that's forward movement. Yes. Right? That's what I'm saying. So, because there once there was a time where I was not on it. Yeah. And now I'm on it every day. And so trying to now understand. Well, you're on it every Thursday at 3 a.m. <laughs> yes. Every Thursday. <laughs> 3 a.m. Might be kicking it up though. Stay uh, tuned for that. But you made me lose my whole thought process. Being on the podcast. Oh, but like understanding why, which is the per with the why is the purpose, but trying to understand the what am I doing with it? What is it doing not only for others, but what is it doing for me? Yeah. Versus me, I don't know. Just doing it. Just doing it or getting to a point where this thing has blown up and then we have not realized, just saying, we mm -hmm. have not realized the potential and why we are where we are. Yeah. And then we have to turn around and kind of look back like, oh, okay, now I get it because we were able to do X, Y, Z. And then we, so I think a lot of times because we don't know the ultimate purpose of something, then it's easier to not try to understand it forward. And but and the I've, easiest thing is to think back on, oh wait, I remember when I did this and now this is I'm like this because of I mean, think about it. What was the topic we did? Who am I? Mm hmm So in the midst of me going through that back then, I didn't realize who I was who I was becoming or what it was making me to be. But now I'm walking the future out and I'm looking back on, oh, okay, now now that makes sense because this right here made me into this type of person. This right here caused me to do this or not yeah. to do this. So I think a lot of times we just it's 
more of a convenience to be able to kind of go through things and then reflect but I think back. convenient convenient means that you're comfortable well I mean as far as reflect like reflecting back because how do you reflect forward easy I think that well the Bible speaks about a, vi- a person with no vision mm-hmm. perish right I think if you don't have vision for your life and you don't have no type of foundation, no blueprint for your life or where you want your life to go, then ultimately you 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 would never be able to live forward. So basically what we have to start doing is looking forward like trying to understand where we want to go or where we want to be or where we're destined to be. I mean, all the time, all the time in school, I really didn't like school like that. But one thing they did put in us was goal setting. Right. Like in school, it was always, you know, set a goal for this, set a goal for that. So you can achieve this and you can achieve that. But I think we lost that as adults. Like we planned so much during school. We got past school, graduated. Right. But now we don't plan for nothing now. Or we plan for the wrong things. Or we like and planning for the wrong things is putting so much energy into something. To me, I, you know, I always talk to you about liability and assets. Is it a liability or is it an asset? And I think because I'm thinking more future wise now, like if I buy these pair of J's, the knockoff kind, knockoff kind, half a kind, <laughs> little of a kind. If I purchase these <laughs> shoes, <laughs> if I purchase these shoes, is it going to bring me back some financial gotcha. stuff? Gotcha. Like, can my so kids, can my kids eat off the shoes in my closet? No, they can't. So that's so why nasty. that's why I said the the whole statement of you know life is understood but like for me I I'm always a future wise thinking. So let's understand it forward because then we're it's basically like goal setting and we're trying to accomplish a goal yeah. and we have something to obtain versus walking blindly yeah. and then getting to some point and then looking back and like oh okay that's what i did or that's why i did this and then so you also gotta back. take you gotta take it as this too like you're teaching your children that same behavior mm, to look back on everything instead of not not really look back on everything but just just live life just oh. no plan no goal setting no blueprint no nothing but i mean if you think about it now because we don't a lot of people don't do goal settings that is just something that kind of fall by the wayside because if you ask a kid what's their goal in life they don't know and a lot of times it's you know what do you do and how do you i mean how do you guide that person not being their parent i mean easily i mean i think i mean i'm just saying like i'm not their parent so now i gotta peel back all of these things to help that child to be able to i tell you set goals set goals that are attainable i think that's the issue that uh, I fall into sometimes in my profession is teaching the kids how to set goals that are attainable for them in the realm that they're in. Well, in my teaching, I do a little teaching, you know, uh, but in my teaching, I always tell kids to set a goal. And I always tell them as, as, as one great mentor told me to to aim for the moon. So that way, if you fail and don't hit the moon, you at least land amongst the stars. So kids have to understand that just like like you can never tell a kid like in this video game, don't stop trying to can to defeat this level because they're going to stay up to. We hours, hours of the morning Cause like I don't want to hear about I can't complete the goal I can't do this A lot of times It's about What you really want to do Because if I told you Okay Complete this goal Which you don't even have to Tell the child Once the child has a game And I, I found on the web. Not now girl I told you did last time But last You know when, Whenever 
I, uh, uh, I'm playing a game and I'm trying to defeat a certain level. Mm-hmm. Like my, I'm locked in. I want to defeat this level and I'm going to do any and everything it is. I'm going to have my food. I'm going to have my, my drink. I'm going to have whatever it takes so I can be locked in on finishing, finishing this, this level on this game. So the goals have to be the same way. Right. I'm saying that, but when I go to look back at the number of kids who, okay, we'll take some so 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 simple. Right. Okay. Progress report or report card time. Mm -hmm. Right. Mama and daddy want you or whoever your garden is, they want you to make all A's or you know all A's and maybe some B's. Right. Mm -hmm. So initially, you or a student may automatically set their goals at an A or B. Okay. But the way I go about it realistically is, okay, baby, let's look at what you got. All right. You barely pushing a C. I understand that this is the grade you're supposed to be striving for. Mm -hmm. But let's look realistically on how we can just get you to the point where you're passing. Then let's go for, and that may look any kind of way. Cause like what I try to teach students is everybody's not an A or B student in school. Period. Yeah. We're not. Okay. So in that instance is I can never get that kid to go forward. If I don't teach them the realistic side of moving forward, because if they always like, you're still shooting for that ultimate A or whatever, mm-hmm. but I say we have to teach them to move in the baby steps forward instead of like these whole leaps and bounds. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's what I mean by like in in my profession of having them to set goals realistically or goals that are attainable because sometimes I can say, I mean, we can take this podcast. Like we're just doing it because we just want to bring in, you know, joy or smiles or laughter into other people's inspiration right so we're not i mean of course if 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 a podcast is monetized or whatever it may be cool but our main priority in moving forward with this is how can we advance the households of other people to be able to have something positive to pull from easy you tell them inch by inch (laughs) Is a cinch. You you tell them yard by yard is hard. Inch by inch is a cinch. Yard by yard is hard, which means everything is easier if I take it step by step. Right. But if I try to leap to get to a certain thing, or like a lot of people, they don't want to do A, B, C, D. They want to do A and get already all the way to Z. Right. You know what I'm saying? But this life is a process. It's a step yeah. by step. You and tell your kids saying, yeah. most of these brick brick houses and brick houses that 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 has been laid. That person laid that brick perfectly each right. time. They didn't stack a whole bunch of you know a whole mm-hmm. bunch of different like that is is laid perfectly one brick by one brick by right. one brick by one brick. That's how you build a house. You don't build a house by. <laughs> But then, if oh, you, the but then there. This, I mean, but then if somebody did say build a house by just throw, okay, this stuff that we see and we go, oh man, that got thrown up kind of fast. And then if something happens to it, I don't know if it's a brick, it's a brick house. I don't know what kind of house it is. <laughs> <laughs> the mother house they, gets thrown up they, fast. They throw them up real quick. But um, in those instances, it's kind of like, Something started happening to that house, and now I got to look back on. Okay, well, what did oh, well they did do that house in like two months. You yeah. know what I mean? So, like, I think in some instances, having to look back on things to understand it is not. It's not bad. It's yeah. It's not a. It's not a bad. I. I mean, it's not a bad thing because I want to. I don't want people to think like, oh, just because you got to look back on. Because we look back on there, and that's that's part of our reflection. That's part of. Um, continuing self discovery and finding out who we are. Being and it's also look, life lessons too. Yeah, and looking back you know. on those things. But if we continue to live in 
the past. You never discover the future. And, refle- and reflect and reflecting. You never. Man, it's only so much reflecting you do. I'm just tired. I think the past, I, <laughs> I always say glance at the past. Don't sit back and just no, look I'm at it because it all the way like, like it'll be like quicksand because like, you'll find yourself. Matter of fact, even matter of fact, sometimes if you, it, I, I found myself doing what, what when I did have Facebook, I will always stroll through my uh, old picture. Facebook pictures. You better and, than me. And I'll be like, close. but <laughs> each picture I can literally picture that day what happened. Mm. And it always triggers something. Always triggers something. Yeah. So and think, yeah, and that's that. That's I had to get away picture. from that. Yeah, that's that memory. I had to get away from it. Now I do. The only memory I'll be honest. The memories that I love most are when our babies were like small. Because well, no, some of the pictures, like ones. some of the pictures, yeah. were, were in older phones that we had, mm-hmm. and it may have been something that you know one of us shared on social media. So those are my times where I enjoy those memories. But then mm-hmm. there are memories that. There are things that pop up that it forces me to be to look back, yeah. and that is that thing that it's a kind glance. of propels. Yeah, it propels who you <laughs> with a glance at it. Yeah, so you don't like. I don't want to repost something from not the foolishness that I used to post. I ain't trying to repost it now. First of all, you you confuse people, right? So I'm not trying to repost nothing. I thought she was just Pic- talking about right. praising the Lord now, she- and all that, and yeah. <laughs> So I think this is where we all have to just make sure when we do glance back, like you said, it's a glance and it's not, it's like, a, oh, okay, I got it. Now I realize this is where I came from. Right. This is why I'm having to do this. Um, you know, I didn't want to talk and share. I didn't like sharing stuff with people. And I'm sitting at, right here on this podcast. But you share all the share. time in Target. Like, I don't, you know, that is not what I do when I go to Target. So life lived forward, but understood backwards. But I think we as people got to start taking advantage of the life that we live. Right. We have to start, especially now. Man, I was on uh, on on my job site and... One of my employees brought up a, a, a great point about, you know, how you know how an, animals have been, certain animals have been extinct. You heard about, you know, used to be this type of animal here, but now it's not here anymore. Right, right, right. But then they brought up, like, now, life now. Mm-hmm. Is it possible that humans on the verge of being extinct? Mm. But it may, like, when they said right. it made me think because you look at the death toll now as far as from right. corona, as far as different other stuff like that, it is moving rapidly throughout the world. Right. It's not just in one area, but it's ru- it's just moving rapidly throughout the world. Yeah. And when she when 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 they said that I said, Wow. But I never looked at it like that. Yeah, I went every day. We never like we never think about the the death tolls and the effect of this thing and how it's mutating right. and different stuff so like that. That's why I think I, we're gonna look back on it and be like, ooh, yeah, because it's like the historical events. Oh like yeah, any, yeah, yeah. Any historical event, like we're definitely living we in ce- it right yeah, now. We we celebrate the or not celebrate. We com- is it commemorate? I don't know what I'm trying to use. But we remember, or we have those moments of time where we are actually trying to remember, mm-hmm. or we remember as a people, the different things that have happened in history. So, in those moments, we can reflect back. Like, I'll take, for instance, you know, not 9-11 is always a big one for me because I remember that. And then the tsunamis in Thailand, I remember watching that stuff on the news. Yeah, that so was crazy. In those moments, and especially 9 11, like that's a time where I can reflect back and I say, I remember, you know, yeah. going to New York at that time. It actually or, put you in a place like, of. It puts you in a place yeah. of, of humbling yourself too. So looking back sometimes and reflecting back on just the historical pieces of things can also just kind of make you grateful and thankful. Yeah. Because, you know, 
we've experienced, I, I mean, I know I've experienced so many things um, as far as historical events. And so, you know, being in the middle of COVID, you know, one day we're going to be looking back at this and saying, yeah. how many people did we lose? Yeah. And then how how did we even make it over from being frontline people, you yeah. know, to, to being safe? Truly, you know, I mean, just truly that, protected, honestly. Yeah, and I mean, and when you have people that are taking the necessary precautions and then they're not, you know. Yeah, they still somehow. They're still somehow getting it and don't know how. So it's like when you just kind of reflect on on that and then those reflections too, look, glancing back at that, you're trying to figure out, well, what did I do? But then that going forward is kind of like a dragging your feet forward because it's like I'm here in this bad place now. Yeah. So... I mean, I, I think that it can go either way when you glance, you know, when you look backwards, trying to understand, because it could be one of those dreadful things where it's something in the past that you've done. And so now you're reaping the harvest of it. And so you're dragging your feet into the, <laughs> oh, man, that, I do that, that. you know, Nicole, man, like she is so younger me. And it's like I'm just like Jesus, please. Like for no. real. And but you know, um and and to go back to, you know, I know losing people and you know, I feel the heaviness of Thanksgiving. Like you feel the heaviness mm-hmm. of the holidays already mm-hmm. because, you know, like I said, we we've lost so many different people. Right. And I I know for me at the top of the like I said, top, at the top of the year before COVID hit I had lost three people. Back to back. I mean, back to back. Yeah, yeah, back to back. Back, to back. And I think for me, I've been handling, you know, people passing a, a whole lot better now yeah. because it makes me thankful for the people who are here. I put a lot of energy in people who are here. Right. Like that's why a lot of time I'm always pouring into people. I'm always uh telling people like, listen, like cuz you I mean you just never know. Yeah. People could be here today going tomorrow. That's right. why this this whole thing of, you know, living life forward but understood backwards. Like me, I want to live life forward but also understand it too. Right. I want to Yeah, you want to be able to understand like why you know, we're going through this because I remember there being a time where I understand why we you were so gung ho about a podcast and YouTubing and all of this thing. You know, all of this stuff. I love people. <laughs> Just come out in the store and talk with me. No, um, yeah, talk to them right now. Whatever. Um, but under being able to understand why we're in the moment that we're in, huh. so I think it is equally important to. One, be able to look back, to reflect back, to see where you've come from and how that is playing a part in where you're going. Mm -hmm. And then also pausing in your right now and looking at your purpose and where you're going in that future part. Like you said, planning it out. So and understanding how that may or may not look. Like this may not be, you know, I know the kids always ask me, well, Miss, you know, Miss Mo, how much money y'all making off y'all YouTube? And I'm like, baby, that's not our, you know, our main priority. Mm. Like, if that was the main priority. Six figures. No, I was like. But, uh, (laughs) yeah, for us, it's not really about, you know, the. It's just basically being able to put the content out. So understand, like we had to understand that before we can come in this moment. Yeah, I fought this moment for a very long time. Like I think this is the moment where we are now walking in future, and so we are understanding this path where there is nothing to be able to look back on. Really, <laughs> yeah. for us to be like, this is why we did this. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, it. I mean, I don't see. Anything from my past to be like, oh, this is why I'm on the podcast. And I also think that you got to know your purpose before mm-hmm. your journey. Right. Because that will make your journey a whole lot more better. Yeah. whole lot like for me when you I'm doing this podcast. You just wanted to say it 
when, when that, uh, I even got that kids. That's what's up. Uh, when I'm doing this podcast, I'm always thinking in the minds of that little boy who was like me, who needed some type of nugget mm-hmm. to get him over, right. you know, like self doubt, just odd, the odd man out. The outsider, mm-hmm. you know, always felt like distant from people because I felt like nobody understood me. Yeah. But now I'm that guy speaking to that same child and saying, listen, right. you're different because you're created. I mean, you, yeah. you're created that way. And you're supposed you, to be different. And, but you had in order to be, be able to do that now, you had to be able to look back on the hindsight to determine this was the type of person I, I was and I did not have anybody there for me. So... As a result, to move toward the future, I want to be able to take what I didn't have back then and be able to implement it now so other people can have what I didn't have. So that's why I said when I look at the both and try to correlate looking forward and understanding for understanding, you know, life moving forward versus understanding life in the past, I think they equally correlate because in certain instances, you can't have one without the other. No. Like, because our past is pretty much what makes us. Remember, I talked yeah. about that that beast, and that beast can be anything that's driving you that you kind of cover up. But that that thing that drives you, and so when we both look at our past, we have the thing that drives us to be able to bring it into households, mm-hmm. but. It didn't necessarily have to be the podcast. The forward movement of, is just the podcast, and now understanding why it's in podcast format instead of some other format. Yeah. That makes sense. And I think for me, uh, I since COVID, I couldn't find no other way to do what I love to do, mm-hmm. which you know I was I was mentoring in schools and different other stuff like that. So it's kind of like, okay, what do you do with all this knowledge right. and all this different other stuff that you have? put used to and it's just like you have to do the thing that you would been dreading to do which is a podcast you know I've been wanting to do a podcast for a very long time but I I, I just think that certain things push you to that season and you know this whole thing has been number one a, a great learning experience mm-hmm. great learning experience I mean I fully know how to set up a podcast break down the podcast uh Stream it live if I want to. Like I've learned so much in just creating, but uh, but I'm doing this with a purpose. I'm not right. just doing this. Like this is an actual purpose. Anything I do now, it starts with a purpose. Yeah, it's tied to it. It's, it's tied, tied to, to it. It, it. When I tell you, it's tied to it from everything that I'm doing now. That's why I, with my family, like. We we are going to be a family that lives life with a purpose. And I encourage you to not only live life forward, but understand it while you're living forward. Right. Understand why you are doing the things you're doing, moving the way you're moving. And then be OK with if you have to reflect on something from the past to be able to understand also going forward, then use those two and link them together. Yeah. So that's that's, that's kind rocket of what we, fuel right yeah, there. That's kind of what we've done is we've yeah. used what was behind us to kind of add some fuel to where we are going now. But we had to understand where we came from, where we're and then also where we're trying to go with things yeah. and how it is all linked together and all connected. And like they always say, if it doesn't kill you. It only makes you stronger. It, it, it definitely makes you stronger yeah. because you're still here. You're still breathing. Right. And the thing that you said was supposed to take you out and it didn't mm-hmm. tell somebody about it because right. somebody could be in that same thing, dealing with that same mm-hmm. problem. And you can be the very hand to snatch them up out right. of that. Because For me, that's what happened with me. I was snatched up out of it. And I find a better way <laughs> to live life. Yeah. Like, I don't look at women the same way as like, you know, as as, as like, I don't want to say anything disrespectful. I just have a lot more respect for women. <laughs> and um, I am, um, I, as I tell people now, like I'm, I'm, I'm grown now. Like I'm fully grown. I have no childish ways. I put away my childish things a long time ago. And 
My thing is, I have adult conversations. So if we're not talking about legacy, we ain't talking about future planning, we ain't talking about blueprint, I don't want to hear nothing about it. But we want to thank (laughs) y'all for tuning in to this podcast. Let me get my wife to sleep. She got a whole class to teach tomorrow. She has an off week, uh, off what, Wednesday or something like that? I'm off Wednesday. Off Wednesday, of course, the podcast dropped the next day. But listen, live life forward. Yeah. And also understand it. And understand it. And like we always say, keep God first. And the rest will be added. And we out. We out.